welcome I'm the Deadwood Jedi. This is another Raid Shadow Legends video. We had a huge new update coming up, guys. So I don't know if that is going to be an immediate patch, but we just got another What's Happening in Raid video. And so we're going to get a whole lot of new information about it. I'm really excited to share that with you. So uh, they shared the video with us. Uh, basically, I'm going to point out some of the highlights of it and some of the new information that's coming down. And I think you guys are going to be really excited about it. I'll be honest, I'm really excited about it. There's some really good quality of life improvements coming down the pipeline. I don't know when, uh, and this is not fixing any of our issues that we have with the Clan v Clan tournament stuff, but there is a lot of new stuff coming that I think we can all get excited about. So uh, yeah, let's go check it out. So guys, the first thing that they're telling us is something I've been very excited about. We got a new roadmap here with just some awesome stuff, as you guys can see here. I mean, one of the biggest ones is clan improvements. I think that's going to be crucial for us, guys, being able to do actual clan battles. The clan v clan tournament, I'm not as excited about. Obviously, we all know the Shadowkin is a new faction that's coming shortly. And um, then they're also talking about adding more content in general and mostly updating what we already have in game. And obviously, quality of life improvements is the number one best part about this info drop. I cannot tell you how excited I am about that. Now, when we're talking about the clan versus clan stuff, the clan improvement stuff, they're talking about creating, adding a clan versus clan like uh, basically war, some kind of uh, way where you can pick your champions, your accounts versus other clans, champions and accounts. And I'm really excited about that. I don't know what it's going to look like. They didn't tell us. I don't know that they know yet. I think they're kicking around a few ideas, trying to figure out what's going to be the best method to go about doing that. It might look a lot like the arena battles or C or 3v3 tournament. Honestly, I don't know what the how it's going to function or anything like that. But I'm excited because that is something that this game desperately needs. That would take this game to a whole nother level, being able to really incorporate using your clan mates and having some competition among other clans. I think that's great. Now, there are some... They do go on about the tournament coming up. And in the video, they're going to describe all that it's about. Honestly, I don't like it. I'm not a big fan of it. Um, after kind of seeing what it is, seeing how the rewards are working, it doesn't really seem like something that I'm going to be super excited about. I don't know how many of you will be either. Um, but we're going to kind of see that when it comes out. And I'll let them go into the description of it. I don't really want to take your time going over, going over that. I know it's the newest thing coming up. Um, but I, I mean, honestly, it's, it's going to be, it's basically going to be uh, tournament functioning. So we're going to be competing on tournaments and seeing how that works. Um, and your clan is going to score more or less points. And as a result, get whatever rewards come forth. Um, I don't know how many people feel about it, but I do feel like that's a pretty much a, uh, you know, who wants to spend the most to get the most. I, I, that does, doesn't appeal to me, quite frankly. So they do go into talking about the rewards from the clan versus clan tournament stuff. And basically we're talking about two different accessories. One is the blood shield accessory here. Um, it gives you basically from 5% of the damage you deal, it gives you a shield um, for each piece that you have that can be up to 15%. Um, that I'm actually really excited about. I think that has a lot of applications in different parts of the game, including clan boss. And I think that can be really good to make some of our squishier champions more usable in other areas of the game. The other one is the reaction accessories. This one is full of problems that everybody has been uh, complaining about basically since they talked about it. Um, I defer to my fellow content creators on what they think about this, but 25% chance to change a critical hit into a normal hit when attacked uh, before you before you actually get your first attack in a round. I mean, it's okay, I guess. I don't know. There's some pros and cons to it. I haven't fully fleshed out myself. But um, I have to agree, it does seem a little overpowered, uh, quite frankly. So, interested to see how that goes. Now, they did give us a bunch of renders of the new Shadowkin faction. This is something I'm super excited about. Um, the champions look super cool. I like the whole the you know medieval uh, Japanese aesthetic, the Far East uh, aesthetic to it. Um, and I think it's really cool. And these champions look amazing. Now, how good is it going to be? I don't know. And obviously, we're just getting tons of champions. It's just going to be the name of the game, guys. I don't see that changing anytime soon. Um, and so, I'm just, I'm, we're just dealing with that at this point. Um, but they look cool. And I'm hopeful that they're going to have some really cool 
uh, mechanics that go with them that bring some new stuff to the game. It's always fun to be playing around with these new champions. As much as I hate trying to tune with Necrit, I do love the fact that we have new mechanics to use. Um, and so, like, I, I'm excited about these guys. Kind of see how they go. But you can see these guys just look amazing as champions. I, I mean, the art on this is always awesome. It is what makes Shadow, Raid Shadow Legends so good of a game. So there is a bunch of other new content coming out. We obviously have the... Uh, the tag assignment for champions, which is really cool. Champion tags, right? So you can able to label them based on where you want to use them in the game. I think that's great. But what I'm really excited about, guys, and I think everybody should be, what I'm really excited about is the next feature, the one where you can actually actually choose the skills the champions are prioritizing, how they're using those skills. I mean, I'm hopeful that they implement it in a smart way, at the very least a simple way, something that we can everybody can wrap their heads around, but I'm really excited about it. We've been asking for that basically since the game came out, um, and that's going to make life so much easier. We're going to be able to use champions in a whole bunch of different areas of the game. In addition to that, they're bringing in more Doom Tower champions, uh, not champions, but bosses. We have two new bosses that are going to be coming into the Doom Tower. And that in and of itself is really cool. I think they look great. we got that Griffin. We've got this Bone Dragon. I think both of those look awesome. That means we're probably going to get some reshuffling of the Doom Tower itself. And I think that's a really important part of that concept of a Doom Tower. And like I said, they're going to also be adding more levels to the dungeon. So taking those all the way up to 25 for better rewards and more end game content. And then they go in to talk about missions, guys. We're getting new missions as well. They're going to be focused on a couple different things. I think primarily Doom Tower and Tag Team Arena. Um, but the reward is going to be this new lizard flying lizard champion who looks pretty awesome so there's a whole bunch of new stuff they are going to be bringing out new champions we get a bunch of you know kind of art concepts of what those are going to look like those are going to be incoming uh, over time obviously and uh I'm really excited about that. The other thing they're going to be adding is they're going to be adding some new stuff to the Ascension system in the game. So some somehow, some way, uh, the Ascension system in the game is going to be a little different. They, they basically say, you know, just getting stat bumps isn't enough. So somehow they're going to be adding something else. I don't know what it is, but it somehow relates to this character right here, this drawing. I don't know in what way it relates. Uh, and they didn't tell us, but in somehow this this creature is going to relate to that so some really cool stuff coming down the line i'm unbelievably excited about the skill prioritization the skill assignments i think that's crucial honestly for being able to use the champions in this game and use them well that's going to make rebalancing a whole lot easier because then you're not having to rebalance all the champions with their ais now you can just not worry about the ais they can focus on the actual skills that those champions bring and i think that's going to make you know, updates a lot easier for this game because, hey, you don't like the AI, that's fine. Go change it. You can do that on your own. That's going to make everything a lot easier as far as going forward with this game. And I think that's like a probably one of those underlooked benefits as a result of this. Lots of new stuff, guys. Um, I'm excited about where this, this is going. I like the focus on clan stuff. I think that's really, really important for this game as far as the longevity of it, as far as keeping people interested and excited moving forward. I think that's going to be really good for us. Um, I'm also really excited about the uh, the skill prioritization. I think that is just a massive, massive thing that's going to be huge for people all throughout the game. Um, we're going to see a whole bunch of different ways to accomplish stuff because now you can actually prioritize the skills that champions have. It's going to open a lot of stuff for clan bosses. It's going to open a lot of stuff for dungeons, for Doom Tower, pretty much every aspect of the game. So I I'm really looking forward to that. Could see some interesting stuff in Arena too. Um, and most importantly, that's probably the biggest champion balance that you can make in this game sure some champion skills are going to be worse than others but having their ai fix makes champions that were so so all of a sudden extremely good now so i'm really really excited about a lot of this stuff i think it's going to be great obviously still issues with these new accessories you know i i think a lot of us uh, feel like there's some some real uh, problems with how those are being created. This doesn't fix the idea of this clan v clan tournament. I'm still honestly not a huge fan of it. Um, just I, I don't like you know rewards tied directly to how much uh, time and money you're going to be spending on the game. Um, you know, that's those are the things that I'm not a big fan of. I always feel like if you're going to spend on the game. What it should do is it should give you a competitive advantage as far as the time that you have to spend, right? Um, but, you know, when you need to spend resources and that's how you're going to win, I, I just don't. I'm not a big fan of that, quite frankly. So that's my personal philosophy on it. I, I mean, 
I'm super excited about this stuff, guys. I think it's going to be really good for us. Obviously, we'll have to see how it's implemented, but uh, you know, you can call me optimistic on this one. I think it's going to be good for the game. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. Take that information uh, for what you will, and uh, yeah, till next we meet. I'm the Deadwood Jedi.